Hi, I'm Meredith from Peachy Speechy. I'm a speech language pathologist, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about two fluency strategies, pullouts and cancellations. If you stutter, fluency strategies are things you can do to help make talking easier. There are many different stuttering strategies, and I talk about other strategies in other videos. So let's talk about the pullout strategy. This is a stuttering modification strategy. That just means that you're modifying or changing the way that you stutter. So you're not preventing the stutter. You are changing it by reducing your tension and pulling yourself out of that stutter. The pullout strategy is also sometimes called easing out or sliding out. And to do this strategy, there are three things you have to do. First, you want to catch your stutter and think about it. Think about where the tension is in your body. It could be in your lips or your tongue or your throat. Second, you need to reduce that tension. You're going to reduce it right there in the moment. Third, you finish your word and keep talking. Okay, I'm going to show you what this looks like with an example. I'm going to say the sentence, blueberry pie is my favorite, but I'm going to stutter on the B in blueberry and then I'm gonna use the pull out method to pull myself out of it and keep going. So listen carefully. Blueberry pie is my favorite. Did you see how I caught my stutter and I thought about it? I thought, where is that tension? Oh, it's in my lips. And so then I consciously reduced that tension in my lips and continued on and said the rest of my sentence. That's a pull out. So for you to practice this strategy, you're going to need to do something called pseudo stuttering, which is just pretend stuttering. You're gonna to need to pretend to stutter so then you can practice using the pull out strategy and pulling yourself out of those stutters. So let's get comfortable with that. We're gonna practice stuttering. We're gonna use the word parrot and we're gonna stutter on that P with lots of tension in our lips. So I'll do it first and then you do it after me. P -p 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 parrot. Now, you try. How did you do? Okay, let's do another one. We're gonna do the word donut. And not only are we going to use our fake stutter, we are also going to practice the pull-out method. So we are going to say donut with a repetition on that D, 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 d with lots of tension in our tongue going up to our alveolar ridge right there. And then we're going to do the pull out strategy. So we're going to catch that stutter and think about it. Where is the tension? We're going to reduce that tension and we're going to keep going. So I'm going to do it first and you do it after me. Donut. Now you try. Great job. You are doing awesome. Let's do one more to practice the pullout strategy. We're going to say the word apple and we're going to have a block on the ah sound. So all the tension is gonna be in our throat right here. So then we're gonna think about it. We're gonna catch ourselves and think. We're gonna reduce that tension in our throat and continue with the rest of the word. Are you ready? I'm gonna do it first and then you do it after me. Apple. Did you see how I thought about it, reduced my tension, and kept going? That's a pull out. Now it's your turn to try. Awesome work. I am so proud of you and your hard work learning the pull out strategy. I have one more strategy to talk to you about today and that's called cancellation. The pull out and cancellation strategies are often taught together. Just like the pull-out strategy, cancellation also involves thinking about where your tension is and reducing it. But unlike the pull-out strategy, which involves reducing tension in the moment, cancellation is something you do after a moment of stuttering. So for the cancellation strategy, you're going to be doing four things. First, you're gonna pause. Second, you're going to think about where that tension is. Third, you're gonna reduce the tension. And fourth, you're gonna start over and say that word again, but this time with reduced tension. 
When you say that word a second time in a cancellation, it's going to sound different because you're gonna have reduced tension and you can also use another strategy such as easy onset or light contact. And I have other videos about those strategies. I'm gonna show you what a cancellation might look like. I'm gonna give you an example. So I'm gonna say the phrase, happy birthday, but I'm going to stutter and have a block on the word happy. And then I'm going to do the cancellation strategy by pausing, thinking about my tension, re reducing that tension, and then saying it again. So listen carefully. Ha 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 happy birthday. Happy birthday. See how I did that? That was a cancellation. So now I want you to try. I want you to say the same phrase, happy birthday. I want you to stutter on happy birthday and then use the cancellation strategy. I'm gonna put reminders on the screen to help you remember. How did you do? Let's try one more. We're gonna say the phrase, new shoes. And we're gonna have a prolongation on that N sound, so our tension's gonna be in our tongue. Then we're gonna use the cancellation strategy, and we're going to pause, think about our tension, reduce that tension, and say it again. You listen first, and then it'll be your turn to try. N new shoes. new shoes. Did you see how I had less tension in my tongue the second time I said it? Well, that's because I used light contact that second time. And I was very gentle and light when I touched my tongue to my alveolar ridge, so there wasn't as much tension. Now I'm going to put a visual on the screen and you're going to say the phrase new shoes and then use cancellation. You try. Great job. So the pull out and cancellation strategies, they might feel a little unnatural to you at this point if you're just now learning them. But with continued practice, they'll be more natural and you'll be able to incorporate them into your speech a little bit easier. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you learn more about the pull out and cancellation strategies. I want to remind you as always, it's okay to stutter. What you have to say matters and you are not alone. So I hope this is a helpful video to you. If you feel like you need to do a little more practice with the pull out and cancellation strategies, just play this video again. To the speech pathologists watching this video, I wrote an awesome set of activities, fluency therapy activities. You can download all of these at pgspeechy.com. Also on my website, I have fun apparel. I've got tote bags, coffee mugs, pillows, all kinds of great stuff. So check it all out at pgspeechy.com.